Today we're going to demonstrate to you the Collins 32S1 transmitter, vintage transmitter. That belongs to the Collins S line. Um, I have it switched at 10 meters right now. Uh, the transmitter is capable of upper sideband, lower sideband and CW. I have it currently hooked up on the phone patch input in the back because I don't have the uh, Collins microphone. The phone patch is basically parallel to the microphone. And this allows me to show you, to demonstrate you the modulation. Power will be visible through this bird watt meter with a 250 watt element in it. So the full scale for the meter is 250 watts. And as a monitor receiver we're using the uh, FT187ND from Yesu. Currently set for 28.6 megahertz which is the uh, center of the band for the Collins at 10 meters. First we'll show you the uh, actual power. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That was upper side band. If I switch the uh, transmitter to lower side band, it basically will demonstrate the side band suppression if I leave the Yezu alone. As you can hear, there is practically nothing coming from the speaker. I would have to switch the Yezu to a lower sideband as well, which we did now. One, two, three, four, five. This is lower sideband. This uh, transmitter gives off about 125 watts at, uh, at 10 meters. We'll demonstrate you another band. I'm not going to do them all. We'll go to the uh, 40 megahertz band. Set the exciter tuner roughly to 40 megahertz. PA tuning to 40 megahertz. We'll lower the uh, Yesu. And let's try. The transmitter has a tune position. We have it set now. Calibrate the dial. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, testing. Alright, we got it optimally tuned now. And it gives off about uh, 150 watts at 7 megahertz. The same is actually through for the 80 meter band. But for the sake of the length of this video, I'm not going to demonstrate that to you. 
So this is the video of the 30, 30 the Collins 32S1 transmitter. It's in excellent condition. Give you a peek at the inside. Hard to believe this equipment is uh, is from the 60s and still working so good. I don't think the same can be said for my 817. 40, 50 years from now, but uh, we'll find out, I hope. Thank you for watching this video.